Good morning, modern setters. It's pretty warm out this morning. Right now it's 27 degrees out here in northern New Hampshire. It's feeling pretty hot. Whew. But yesterday I got up to about 40 degrees. And the day before that I got up around 40 for a high. So we need to go collect some sap this morning. We'll get one bucket collected, get it in the pot, get it boiling. We gotta feed the animals, and then we'll start walking around and checking out the other buckets and bring them back. We lost quite a bit of snow the last couple of days. Be nice once we lose it all. Oh yeah, that's pretty full. I'm thinking today is gonna be the most sap. Whoa! Just shy of five gallons. Look at that. That is awesome. If all the buckets look like that, we're gonna have a lot of sap. Yes. I'm gonna be conservative. I'm gonna call that four gallons. get some other buckets. We'll go to the furthest one in the woods that we haven't gotten any sap from yet. And let's see how we do this time. Clear it out this way. Hey, this way. All right, this is our furthest out in the woods bucket. We haven't gotten any sap from it yet this year. Let's see how we're doing today. Yeah, there's some in there. Brought our old bucket with us. We can swap it out. Check this bucket, maybe we can combine the two. There's quite a bit in there. Yep, I bet you between the two, let's see. Thinking we'll have five gallons. Oh yeah, easy. All right, between those two pails, we got four and a half, five gallons. Nice. All the ice is already melted. Awesome! See how much we got. Two and a half gallons. I'll take that.
All right, so far this morning we've collected sap from four trees, and I'm gonna call it 11 and a half gallons of sap so far. That's exciting. It's not the most we've collected total yet in a time, but it's the most we've collected off of four trees. We have six more trees I need to collect off of. I'm gonna go feed the chicks and the pigs, get that boiling, and then we'll both get the rest of the sap. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a good day today. Good morning. You girls ready for your grain? <laughs> How we doing this morning, Andy? Being camera shy? quite to a rolling boil yet, but all that ice is almost melted. Let's go feed the pigs. Good morning, girls. You hungry? Yeah, good morning. Is that some good stuff? Flame's getting low. Tank's already freezing up. Man! Before I go and get more sap, I want to get the wood cook stove heated up. We've got some kindling pieces from when we tested that DeWalt battery we'll use. Alrighty, it's the furthest away tree from the outdoor kitchen. Brought an extra bucket to swap out. Well, I was expecting a little bit better. It's about half full. Big old tree, I thought we would have had more. I think our chicken tractor needs some help. I want to say this tree, yep, produced more. This one's about three quarters of the way full. One's about a quarter. Yeah, let's see. I don't know if they'll both fit in one bucket. Ooh, just barely. Wow. One full five gallon bucket.
Man, my truck's got a headlight out. Bummer. That's no fun. <sighs> That's about half full. About a quarter of the way full. That one's a little over half. So, probably have four gallons between the two. About four gallons. Let's check it out. Survey says, ooh, that's pretty full. Three quarters of the way full. Nice. Let's see what this bucket has in store for us. It's like a treasure hunt. Seems pretty full. Let's see. Ooh, three quarters of the way full. I'll have to take that bucket completely. All right, we're gonna be doing math on camera. I'm gonna call that six gallons. We have nine over here, that makes 15. We collected roughly 11 and a half already boiling. So, 27 and a half gallons of sap. Woohoo! That's our biggest sap run so far. Yes! And that was about the, for the sap running for about two days. That big old pot, the 23 gallon pot, we have right around 11 and a half gallons of sap already in there. So I think if we add five more gallons or the two other half ones, that'll put us right around 17 to 18 gallons. So we're gonna do that. And then I got one other thing we're gonna do. Let me show you. It's a pretty full pot. It says the water temp is just below 140. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put the other sap that we have in our stock pots. And we'll put them on the wood stove and we'll preheat them before we add them to the big pot.
But we got the outdoor kitchen. The old wood cook stove's coming in handy. Keeps us warm, keeps our coffee warm. And now we're gonna preheat some sap. Yes, sir. Definitely the most amount of sap we've collected and boiled in one time. All right, so about 45 minutes of being on the wood stove. All the ice and all the pots are melted. This one is starting to steam a little bit. The wood stove, nice. Now the 23 gallon stock pot has evaporated quite a bit of the sap. I'm gonna add in one of our pots of preheated sap. So that should keep that boil going good. So we started around 7 a.m. this morning. So it's been, yeah, quite a few hours. We're still not done yet. We're getting there. Started with 30 gallons. I'm gonna say we're down to our last two to three gallons that we need to boil. Trying to see if we can get the steam to go away and get a good look in there. We're below the probe, which is a good thing. So pretty soon we'll be finishing it up on the wood stove. So we just ran out of propane. I had a new tank on this morning. And we have... Oh, four inches or so of sap left to boil. So we're doing pretty good. Change out that tank. Get this turned down. So close. I don't want to leave it in this pan because I don't want to burn it. I think it's going to be time to put it on the wood stove. Definitely a lot thicker coming off of the burner this time than any other time we've done it. 
get it over on the stove. There we go. It's not syrup yet, but it's pretty darn thick. It's gonna happen fast. I literally just put this on the stove two minutes ago and we're already up to 215. We're gonna have some maple syrup here before you know it. Seventeen. All right, we're at two nineteen. We're calling it. By looking at you, you would think it's cold out. It's not that cold. Yes, it is. You think it's like 20 below zero? Yeah, well, I just ate some ice cream, so. <laughs> You're crazy. It's cold. All right, we're losing daylight. I'm going to call that six quarts because some of them are overfilled and this one's a little underfilled. So I think it all evens out. Seal it up. Let them cool off and they'll seal the lids for us. This is a ah, really light color syrup. All right, well, today it took us about 12 hours to make six quarts of syrup from around 30 gallons of sap. That was another good day here making maple syrup. If you're new to the channel, now's a perfect opportunity to subscribe. While you're down there, turn on notifications, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.